We're going to do a little NHL rapid fire. Who better to talk NHL with than our very own resident Canadian, Alex Smarty Pants Smart. Just a reminder, if you like what you see here, then like and subscribe to our YouTube page and hit that bell if you want to get notified every time we post a new video. So let's start our NHL rapid fire with the Winnipeg Jets against the Ottawa Senators. Uh, the Jets are 31 and 30, six and four in the last 10 on a two game winning streak. They beat the Kings six to three, the last outing. They're 15 and 13 straight up, 20 and eight against the spread on the road. They're five and two straight up in the last seven against Ottawa and the Senators, not so good. Uh, 21-39. They're three and seven. Now, hold on a second, because you look at that and you say, that sucks. But they're three and one in this homestand that they're on. And, and they are a very, very streaky team. I mean, they've had some massive losing streaks and a few wins in and there. But they are finally on something that looks like a half-decent homestand. They're 15 and 17 straight up, 17 and 15 against the spread at home. But they're only 5 and 15 straight up in the last 20. Now, look, the Senators are plus 129. The Jets minus 143 on the money line. What do you like on this one, Smarty Pants? Well, you know, the value is going to rest with Ottawa, of course. You know, I, I was thinking the same thing with Ottawa last week, and then we sort of, I sort of got away from myself there and started to, to doubt myself because, I mean, you've been on Ottawa, and you're going to always have double, double thoughts, but the value is there with them from now to the end of the season because they're always going to be, um, I guess how we say it, like undervalued. I, I mean, the market is, is where we're at with Ottawa, and... Uh, from here to the end of the season, just look for Ottawa like in pinpoint spots like like this game against Winnipeg, even though Winnipeg's uh, playing some good hockey. So you like Ottawa on the money line here, is that right? I like Ottawa on the money line. I'm not going to change yeah. my mind this time. Yeah. Well, they are on this incredible. I mean, this homestand's three and one, and I think they still got two more games at home. They got this one, I think the one immediately following. So you never know. I love that. And at plus 129, that's good for the plus money honey, isn't it? I already jotted it down, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> already jotted that down. What do you got, Allie? Okay, so I'm going to take you to New Jersey. We're going to talk San Jose and the Devils. San Jose is 26 and 33. They have a lot of players out, suspensions, injuries, that kind of jazz. Uh, they're coming off a loss versus Florida, three to five, uh, but they have won their last three of five. New Jersey's 22 and 37. They lost to St. Louis, shut out three to nothing, but they've won two of their last five. I feel like this is kind of a like a battle of the rebuilding teams. Um, I'm showing New Jersey minus 120 and the total at five and a half. Any thoughts on this one? Yeah, you know, I like the value once again. That we're at the time of the year, the time of the season, when there's there's a lot of value there because the market is, I wouldn't say playing the public sentiment, but at the same time, putting numbers out there that um, we'll say a lot of bottom feeders like to, like to chase. And uh, I'll tell you, there's value here. And the, the value comes with San Jose. Uh, New Jersey's going through a... Like you said, a rebuilding situation. They're trading away the house right now. They just got rid of Green, their captain, their their top defenseman. He's gone to the Islanders, and there's more to come. And the team, I think, right out of the gate was uh, was playing. Uh, you know, teams that have trades a lot of time, you're looking for them to go one direction, but actually, just for a short period of time, because there's kids coming in the lineup and they're and they're all playing really, you know, trying to find a, or solidify a spot for next year. They're playing hard. Now they went against St. Louis in their second game after those big trades I talked about, and uh, they got beaten 3 nothing. And uh, I think uh, we have value with San Jose tomorrow night. All right, so take that dog at San Jose. Nick, what do you got? All right, uh, next up on our NHL rapid fire, we're going to move along to the Penguins against the Maple Leaf. Uh, the Penguins are 37-21, and 7-3 in the last 10. They're on a three-game winner right now. And this is the second game in a home and away stand against, obviously, uh, the Leafs. Uh, so they won the previous game, 5-2 uh, in Pittsburgh. That was at home, obviously. They're 15-12 and 12 straight up, 14-17 and 17 against the spread on the road. But they're only one. One and four on the road in Toronto, so that doesn't bode particularly well. The Leafs are 31 and 30. They're four and six in the last 10. They lost, uh, obviously, the return game against the Penguins, as we just spoke about, and they lost to the Buffalo Sabres right before that. Uh, they're 15 and 15 straight up, nine and 21 against the spread at home. But look, they're one and five straight up in the last six against Eastern Conference opponents. And the uh, Maple Leafs are plus one, uh, minus 120, and the Penguins even money at plus 100. Uh, is there anything, it, it, what do you like on this one? Well, once again, I'm, I'm after value again at this time of the year, and there's lots of it around. Pittsburgh deserves to uh, be our choice. And I'm going to tell you why. The, there's something about Toronto. There's a, there's a big thing going on in Toronto right now. The fans are unhappy with the performance of the team. This was supposed to be a Stanley Cup champion, cha uh, championship team. They've really struggled uh, a great deal. But if they really would have paid attention to what, what 
their hopes were for their future, they would have looked at a guy like John Tavares, who's an emotionless robot, who's supposed to be the captain of the team, scores like crazy, be on the uh, be on the board every night, consistently see points from the guy. Guy's a superstar, super talent, no emotion on the ice, no emotion in the locker room. Toronto, go against him here. Pittsburgh's the team to take tomorrow night. Much better team. All right. Okay, well, let's cruise. Uh, we're going to do the Flyers and the Blue Jackets. This one's kind of funny because they just played each other on, was it? Tuesday, I believe. Um, Flyers are 33 and 27. They have 60 points. They were at home on Tuesday where they beat the Blue Jackets 5 to 1. Uh, they've won three of their last five. They're 13 and 8 on the road. Uh, and the Blue Jackets at 30 and 31 are really looking to end this slump. I remember they were like ice hot, red hot. The really big part during the season. That sounded silly the way I said that, but you know what I'm talking about here. Um, and then they just kind of went cold. They've lost six in a row. They need to get out of it. They are a favorite at home where they're 18 and 4 at home, um, but losing six in a row is a little bit scary. Uh, Blue ja Blue, I was going to say the Blue Jays. Blue Jackets are minus 115. Philly is plus 105. I kind of like the home team here. What do you think? Uh, you know, uh, maybe the market's going to treat them right at this point after six straight losses. But I look at this... Uh, um, you know, I've beat my head against the wall over the years, um, chasing teams that are in a slump and, you know, expecting something to change because of something that previous to that, or, you know, because uh, we're all high on them because, you know, memories are memories sometimes in this sport are long. We even couldn't catch on to Golden State, just changing the subject. Golden State, how bad they have become, you know, it sort of shocks people. And it took about a few games to see that. Columbus is slumping right now. Uh, Philadelphia is actually an uptrending team. My power rankings really respect them. Uh, we've got value. We've got value with Philadelphia here again. A team that can't beat uh, Columbus and matches up well against them. All right, there you have it. Take okay. the plus money again. We've got just a couple of minutes left, so let's make this one quick. We've got the Coyotes against the Blues. The Coyotes are 30 and 32. They're four and six in the last 10 on a two game winning streak. They beat the Capitals and the Islanders. The Blues, this is interesting because this team was really hot earlier on in the season. They're 33 and 27. They're three and seven straight up three after a three and zero win over the Islanders slapped a five game losing streak they won. But look at this. This team has had a shocking 2020. They've gone seven and 12 in the new year. They're seven win 12 losses in the new year. That came after they ended the year going eight and one. Look, the, uh, the Coyotes are plus 166. The Blues, minus 185. Are we liking Arizona on this one? We're liking Arizona on this, G. This is this is the team to be on right now. St. Louis last year, after the second half of the season, absolutely annihilated the NHL. They look very human now. They don't look like Stanley Cup champions. Very vulnerable. Great value here. We're going to go with uh, Arizona.